Recently, I got asked this question from a viewer of this channel. Why do we yawn? Now, for many years, scientists believed that when we are tired or sleepy, we start breathing less. Our breathing rate becomes slower, and that decreases the amount of oxygen in our lungs. So the lungs detect the low oxygen levels, and then they trigger yawning so that we can get a lot of air inside, and we can then rebalance the oxygen levels in the lungs. But we now know that's simply not true. The lungs don't have the ability to detect oxygen levels in our body. Also, it's a well-known fact that we do yawn even when we are not tired. In fact, latest research suggests we yawn to cool our brains. A Princeton University researcher found in 2011 that people yawn 200% more when their surrounding temperatures are colder than their body temperature. What does that mean? Well, this is called the brain cooling hypothesis, and it suggests that when our brain temperature goes up to an uncomfortable level, it triggers yawning so that the colder air around us can come in and cool the brain. Yawning doesn't help us much during the hot summers because the air around us has a higher temperature than our body temperature. So the air we bring into our mouth is hotter than our body temperature. It doesn't help the brain cool down. It might also explain why we yawn so big when walking bareheaded in the summer sun for some time and then we get under a tree or an air-conditioned room for rest. When you are out and about, the ambient temperature was, let's say, 40 degrees Celsius. The body temperature is usually 35 to 37 degrees Celsius, but the brain temperature has gone up, let's say, an uncomfortable level of 37.5 degrees Celsius. Yawning won't help when you are outside walking in 40 degree temperature because the air you get into your mouth was 40 degrees. So it won't help the brain to cool off. Now, as soon as you get under a tree shade with temperatures around 28 degrees Celsius or an air conditioned room with temperatures of, let's say, uh, 23 degrees Celsius, you will have some big yawns which will bring in a lot of colder air around you and that will cool the brain temperatures back to a comfortable level. The brain cooling hypothesis also partially explains why yawning is contagious to people sitting in the same place, because people in the same place are exposed to the same ambient temperature and similar brain temperatures, but doesn't explain the contagious nature of yawns altogether. For example, if you watch a video on your phone screen or computer or TV of some person yawning, that also triggers yawning into you. We don't know why. So basically, the short answer to this deceptively simple question, why do we yawn, is nobody knows for sure. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and do subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.